Happy Monday. These are the packages from last week. A lot of it is PR. I think I might have ordered two of them, meaning I paid for them myself. But let's go ahead and unbox free makeup and like two or three things that I might have ordered. Let's start off with this one over here. And I like the little thing that I got off of Timu because look, like you can't even see my address, so this is great. This one is from Merit Beauty. <sighs> By the way, today's makeup, true match. The N5 under the eye, that was beautiful. I received this some time ago, the Maybelline 41 Perfector. This is what is on my skin as a base. The face, the bronzer, the highlight, the blush is all Smashbox Halo. Um, it's the Sculpt and Glow palette. The brows, because they're laminated, I didn't need to do much, so I kind of filled in sparse areas with my Precisely My Brow by Benefit, and this one is a number six. And then my lips are going to be Sugar and Spice by Gerard Cosmetics on the perimeter, and a Rem Beauty. I think the sticker came off. Rem Beauty's Detention on the lips, and then we were good to go. And I kind of went like glowy, but still like very everyday and I'm like living for it. Here we have a Merit Beauty PR package. They sent over two lippies. The packaging is slightly different. I feel like they're like cream ones. Oh my goodness. Uh, their cream ones had more of a like a golden brownie hue. This is their packaging for the mattes. Oh, I ended up getting shade num uh, classic and shade power. So the pink is classic, power is the red. How pretty are these? I'm all about a bold lip, but that pink is so stinking pretty. Very pretty. I'm not mad at her. I'm excited to play around with it. We got a package from Gerard Cosmetics. We've got a backup of their clean canvas in fair. I absolutely love the clean canvas. You know that. And then they sent over their lipstick in Buttercup, which I don't already own. That's very pretty. It's pale, but I think I can pull it off. Oh. I wanna try her, look how pretty. It's pale, but I think it's flattering. Let's see. Line again with sugar and spice really quickly. Let's see buttercup. Oh, it is, it's pretty sheer. So although it looks intimidatingly pale, it's really not. I like that. Hold on, let me fix it, because I know it looks kind of funky, but it's a pretty, pretty shade. And you guys, my lips, don't even ask me what happened, okay? Truth is, I woke up and they were super dry and puffy. Almost like I've had an allergic reaction. So I look like I have lip fillers, but I don't. And they were like puffy and dry and red. But I don't know what I did to them. Then I've got a package from Dossier. Dossier tends to spoil me. They send me perfumes often throughout the month. I knew it felt heavier. They added an extra one. I'm always so excited to try new Dossier fragrances. And like I said, it was heavier because they sent me one of their originals and we're going to give it a try. This is their ginger and grapefruit zing original which means that this is one that they've created themselves you're gonna get a card and with the card you are gonna get all your notes so your top notes your middle notes and your base note the packaging or like the bottle itself will look the same just like all the other fragrances they carry oh oh i definitely get the citrus it's sweet and citrusy that's different i actually like that wow and i don't do citrus but it's like a mild grapefruit and it's not too sweet it's just a very nice balance and you get ginger but it's not like all that much ginger it's pretty i was inclined to do one of these but i'm not going to because i have three other fragrances to share with you my friends over at dossier not only gift me the fragrances but they sponsor the segments because they know how much i love their fragrances. Now with Dossier, you're going to get fragrances that are inspired by luxury and high-end brands. But Dossier is making the luxury fragrance experience accessible to everyone. Their fragrances smell exactly like what they're inspired by and they're gonna linger all day. They're not gonna fade at all. And with Dossier, the more you buy, the more you save. They're super affordable. You're getting a full-on bottle and it starts at like 29 bucks and that's just regular price. A lot of times they have deals and again, the more you buy, the cheaper it is because you get bigger discounts. So this one's going to be Fruity Brown Sugar and this one is inspired by YSL Mon Body. I've not necessarily smelled the like luxury version of this, but I'm curious because I read the notes. Oh, oh, wait. I knew it. There's a little bit of vanilla. 
there's a little bit of orange blossom and raspberry and pear. And I get all of those. Oh, that smells very fruity, but like in a sexy fruity way. Okay, so that is fruity brown sugar, you guys. I actually recommend that one a lot. It smells so stinking good. Why would I say so stinking good? Because it doesn't stink, it smells amazing. Then we have the second one, and it's going to be Aromatic Star Anise. And that is inspired by Dior's Sauvage. This is a men's perfume. I didn't get it from my husband. I got it from my dad, who is coming in the next several weeks. And he is a fragrance buff. He will spend three, four, five hundred dollars maybe every month, every other month on fragrances, which to me is like insane because we have dossier. I saw this one and I was like, okay, my dad loves running out and getting the Dior. What if he gets an inspired one and saves a lot of money and he can actually maximize his funds? Am I gonna spray this on myself? I probably should. Put it on over here, hold on. Oh, it hit my neck. Oh, ooh, that smells just like the one he wears. That is insanely similar. Like you would think it's the same thing. Wow. I'm gonna tell you my dad is probably gonna start buying Dossier fragrances. He's gonna be calling me for help in placing his orders. And then the last one is for me. And this one is Floral Marshmallow. And I know you're thinking marshmallow, but it is inspired by, by Killian. Love, don't be shy. This one has a little bit of a different hue to it. I don't really know why they usually come, um, Clear. I'm concerned that this is gonna smell like marshmallow because I don't eat marshmallows, but we'll see. Okay, you do get marshmallow. I need to start spraying the cards. That way I don't smell like four different fragrances. Okay, so you definitely get marshmallow, but you're also getting some amber and vanilla in there, so it kind of balances it out with honeysuckle. So it's, it's pretty for sure. It's sweet. Notice that the fragrances that I got for myself are all more on the sweeter end this time around. But that's the beauty with Dossier that you can maximize your funds, grow your fragrance collection, and own a little bit of everything. And do not worry, I'm gonna make sure that I link every single one of these fragrances in the description box for you guys. That way you can go and check them out and even snag them. This desk here is kind of flimsy and um, I'm scared things are gonna fall over, so I need to like get moving. This one here is from Sigma Beauty. If I can get in. Hello, Sigma. What did we get? What did I get this time around? Okay, a brush shampoo, which I feel like I've tried and I like. I got a lip cream. Is today like a lip day? And then a cream blush. Let's check it out. I feel like it's safe to say they're gonna get an A plus for packaging. This is their cream blush in the shade Core de Rosa. Super pretty. This is their lip cream in Begonia. How pretty is that? Be ready, you guys. There's gonna be so much content. I think I have another Sigma box. Let's see what this is, because it says Ipsy. It's probably one of the ones that I've paid for or something like that, let's see. It is. Now, I don't have to give you guys like a full on reveal because we've already talked about my choices and all of that. This is my Ipsy for March. This is my March Ipsy. So um, I don't have to do the full unboxing. It was a tinier size. Remember I told you guys I added this? It's fine, because this lasts a really long time. You don't need a lot of it. T-Y-S. So we're gonna create a look. No worries, okay? No, no worries. We already know we love this. The Danessa Myricks. Okay, so my box is here. I have a, a, the bronzer. Nothing is missing and that's what matters. You'll, you'll see an Ipsy, paid Ipsy, try on for March. We've got something from Alter Ego. How cute is that? They always send the cute little notes. And this is like handwritten. They're always replenishing their eyelid base. This is a brand new palette that's coming out. As per the little card here, they're so nice. They're like kind and I will be creating content with this baby. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, it says this is gonna launch on the 14th and it will be $22. If you want great dupe palettes or great color stories at a great price. Eyeshadow palettes are $22 or less. Their formula is beautiful. It blends, it's buttery. It's pigmented and we appreciate how pretty this packaging is. Just the exterior alone, concept of the colors and then just mm, spring pastels, mattes and shimmers. We are most definitely going to create a look and I always go for like the lavenders and the pinks. So we might go green. This is stunning, you guys. This is gonna launch on the 14th. I think I do have a discount code. It's not an affiliate one. I make no money off of it. But if I if I do, I'll add it down below so you can save like five bucks. Next, it says Pim's Warehouse, but I have no idea who you are. 
more what is this like lippy season then I, my lips are always like again they're going through something and they're always so dry so i don't care but don't look why is i send more lippies like what what okay so i got two different shades i really really like their lippies they're right here i use them all the time you guys i have a one face and i can only post one video a day and I also have to make time for my family. But I promise you, I have so much product here because I rotated. They're so freaking good. This time around, the packaging is silver and pink. Double Care Balm. This one is in shade number 14. Look at the shade of brown. How pretty is that? And this one is in 13 and it's more of a pink. Ooh. Uh, that's what they're going to look like. And I feel... I know my lips... I feel like I'm gonna take this lippy off again. I know, and then I'm wondering why are my lips going through what they're going through right now, right? Do I go with the brown or the pink? I think I'm doing a lot of nudies, so let's go with the pink. So shade number 13. Oh, how pretty is that? Girl, okay, I like that a lot. I do not know how it is that they're sending me this stuff, but they are, and I'm so grateful. This here is from Burst. I've showed you guys the um, charcoal toothpaste, the whitening strips, the toothbrush. Burst is the brand that I've been using in terms of like the toothbrush, the electric one that I showed you guys. I, I kept the pink one, one has the black one. But they sent over their precision whitening pen so this pen is gonna come in handy let's take a look at her and this is like new okay but why does this look super bougie like do you twist like what do you do do i i clicked am i supposed to click yeah this is like super fancy very bougie but you would click 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 it comes out the top and then you and we are going to do that later on today i'm gonna focus more concentrated at the bottom because that's where i need a little more help lately you guys we've had to go through a lot of stuff today this i don't know Oh, didn't I just put a lippy on? Look what I've got. A faux filler extra shine lip gloss in the shade Glassy by Huda Beauty. It is the faux filler. This is freaking bananas. This one isn't clear. I'm not gonna try her on, but I will show you because I really like this YSL one. I will show you what the applicator looks like and then of course i will like review it so be prepared for that but it is a clear the packaging is fun and it's really nice it's kind of different for huda beauty but i appreciate it and that applicator is freaking insane it smells slightly minty but it doesn't have like a sweet fragrance to it this is also by sigma beauty this is freaking exciting. I love trying new tools because you just never know what you're gonna find that's gonna be like the next best thing. It's gonna be freaking fantastic. The 3D HD blender, it is latex free for those of you who are concerned or have like about latex or have like a latex allergy. How cool is, it's different. The shape is very different. They sent over their Edge Kabuki and F87. Look at that triangle. This is like a diamond shape at the top. That's different. This is a 4D HD Kabuki brush. Look at the top. Yes, 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 we're trying everything, we're trying everything because I need to let you guys know if it's worth your money, if it's as innovative as other people are saying that they are. This is a 3D HDR Kabuki. And it looks like the other one, but I think it's either bigger or smaller. We have other packages to get through, but we are gonna do some insane try-ons. I have another Ipsy. This one, I believe is going to be the February box. It it is but hold on wait a minute mm -mm. no ma'am really so um okay how great is this do you see how it's someone opened it ripped it so this is um the box and i was curious to see if they put my little pimple patches in here which they did now i'm annoyed i can see where maybe as it moved around a lot in the box this came out but really this box is like ripped so the bigger question is, do I bother Ipsy with it and say, hey, I have a clip of me opening it and this is what it looked like, what the heck? Or do I just let it be because that primer sucks? I could just get rid of it. I don't know what I wanna do yet. I'll figure that one out, but let me know, what would you do? Like what, I have proof, hello, I'm filming this. What would you do? I have got another Merit Beauty package. They included another one of the little bags. That bag is so convenient, I love it. Just put everything in there and then pop it in my purse. They included their brow gel, their mascara, an eyeshadow brush, and then their solo shadow.
in Nelson, which I've been super de duper curious about their shadows. Cause they come in little pots and you can either do liners with them or you can one and done them and just kind of like blend everywhere on the like eye. Look at that shade, that's Nelson. This is going to be amazing for smoky eyes. You can use it on its own and it should set, I believe that's my understanding, but we're gonna play around with it. Or you could um, potentially use it as a base for your smoky eye. Okay, no fragrance. That, first of all, the packaging is everything, but it is merit, so yes, right? But um, nena, like, this is so cute. And they have so many other shades, and you guys know I love. They have their lippies, which I really, really enjoy. Um, and their, like, their blushes, stunning. Their bronzer, like their little multitasking stick, love it for concealing, as foundation, as bronzer. They, they're, they're, they're very innovative with their stuff. This one's from Palladio, you guys. Do not sleep on Palladio Beauty. They have beautiful product. And now I get to try, wh what? I get to try even more. They're absolutely amazing. My contact is so kind. And I'm really excited to kind of build a relationship with them. I feel like, I feel like you guys are gonna be exposed to some amazing products. So they sent over their ultimate eyeshadow palette, their matte bronzer, three shades of their CC cream so I can figure out which one would work for me the best. I think the middle one probably, maybe, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm so excited, so excited. A mascara. A lip stain, and I'm hoping this is the shade because that would be stunning. A concealer, which I requested this. I requested it because I have not used a concealer that was a, like in a bullet lipstick form in like forever. So I was like, I would like to give it a try and see. And then their uh, cream lip color. This is supposed to be a long wear liquid lip. So we are gonna try a ton of Palladio Beauty product. There's so much value and great quality over at the drugstore, it's insane. The next package is going to be by Luminous, right? Like when I got this, my jaw freaking dropped. They sent over some of their goodies. So I ended up getting a highlighting powder. I got a lip stain, this little mesh bag contains, I think these are like eyeshadows. So three eyeshadows. And then there's a box inside of the box so you have to give me a second. Look at this. I'm so excited. Who's excited to see like an air um, aerosol spray foundation? I am. So I ended up getting an airbrush spray hydrating primer. I'm also going to get to try their airbrush foundation. And they sent over a brush. And this brush seems super fancy. And it's like dual ended, which is really cool. I can't say I'm so excited more than I already said it because it's true. Remember how I told you guys that my Ulta package was misdelivered to the wrong address and that it was a cobblestone entryway? Well, anyway, long story short, we were chilling out back. The kids are in the pool. I was like, mm, let me go check the mail and coinke dinkily in that very, very moment. As I'm walking out the front door, there's a lady coming up my walkway and she's like, and I said, yeah, can I help you? Never met this woman in my life. And she goes, I've got a package that's yours. And I said, Ulta? She goes, yes. Turns out she's my neighbor and my backyard meets her driveway. So she literally like right there, like she could have passed me the package through um, like across the fence. Anyway, um, very nice lady. I've been here almost four years and I cannot believe that it's just now that I've met her. Then again, she's always traveling, she said. So that's why we've never like actually met met. But that was so nice. She made sure that I got my hands on it. Like, ugh. I snagged an Aquaphor lip balm because y'all know my lips hate me. So, you know, it's good to keep this in my bag. And I find that Aquaphor is the only thing that actually helps me in terms of like the healing process. So I snagged that. Then I snagged these two babies by NYX because NYX is absolutely freaking fantastic. I'll tell you the shade names in case you're interested if I find it. This one is Boundary Pusher and this one is Rebel in Red. So the concept for these lippies is that they're long wear. Now this is not gonna be the first time you've ever seen anything like this. You apply the liquid lip, you let it sit and set. And once it dries down, you go in with the gloss and the gloss is going to kind of act like a shilla. And so the gloss will lock it in place. It'll stay glossy. The gloss kind of transfers 
but the lippy stays on your lips and it's gonna be very long wear. So we're gonna give her a try and we'll do a quick like shorts and wear test and we'll see. But these were the two shades that I was like interested in. I got a request for me to grab the bronzers by Milani. These are the cream ones and this is in Spilling Tea. It's a cheek kiss. Um, this is a bronzer shade. And I thought it was, I think this is the one that would work with me the most, so I snagged this shade. Yes, we will be trying her and reviewing her. And then these were so stinking good. I told you guys I had to get more. This is the newer shade that came out. It's like the cherry one. And then I had to get a nude because I freaking loved these. If you didn't see my review, I have a shorts. I actually featured it on videos. You need to try these. They're so, so good. And then I got the Rem foundation. I had such a hard time trying to identify my shade. I ended up getting medium 9N and I'm still not sure if it's gonna work for me. First of all, the packaging is freaking everything, but I wasn't, like it was between 7W and 9, but I could have gone with 6, but the 6 looked a little lighter and then the 9 looked a little go more gold. It was just very, very complicated to identify and then you look at swatches and the swatches look a certain way you look at the pictures the pictures looked a different way so i did some research off of youtube and looked at different people and other creators that were like actually using it and i based my shade selection on them and i think i did good don't mind this you know we tan i think i did good unless this oxidizes mira i did good i think we got a good shade is this a success maybe i don't know but we're gonna reread her that was everything. And not only did I show you items were sent to me in PR, but I showed you items that I purchased and you're gonna get a wear test on this, don't worry. And I'm really excited. I'm not mad at anything. I've got so much to play with and I cannot wait to share. Remember, everything is gonna be linked in the description box in the event that you wanna go check it out for yourselves. If you got your eye on it, you wanna add it to your cart as a save for later, just in case you're ready to snag after my review. Totally up to you. If there's anything that I can get a discount code for you um, to save some money i will add that in the description box as well and make sure you check out dossier i promise you i wouldn't steer you wrong so many of you have already started purchasing dossier and you swear by them so the proof is in the pudding and you know i can't go anywhere without saying hello and thank you to our channel members the g squad these amazing people have joined channel memberships and are supporting the channel at a higher level, which means they've unlocked exclusive perks. Some of those perks include a badge letting everyone know who is a channel member. Their comments are highlighted under all of my videos. You get access to a private community page, exclusive behind the scenes content here and then every so often, and some additional giveaways. So if you're ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you really need to do is hit the join button below any of my videos and you are good to go. Now YouTube is gonna recommend the video based on your watch history here on screen. I'll go ahead and recommend additional beauty content I think you're really gonna enjoy. So I hope you consider checking it out and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.